Welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. In this episode, I have this question for us. When performing a left join, which is faster? Polars in Python, pandas in Python, tidyverse in R, or data.table in R? Just to make sure we're all on the same page on what we're talking about, a left join is when you have two data frames or two tables. You want to have all the rows of your left table, and you just want to grab values from the right table where there's a matching value in the left table. That's what a left join is in the SQL join terminology. And all the data science-oriented packages uh, can do that. And just to be clear on why you'd want to do that in corpus linguistics, you would want to do that when you have, for example, uh, concordance lines like I have here. I have all of the words that end in the letters ED in about a quarter of the Spotify podcast data set. And there are 3.9 million rows in this data frame right here. And I want to get the frequency from a frequency list. So let's jump over to our frequency list, which is this one. And if we have, I'll just jump to the top here real quick. And we have the as the most frequent word in English in this data set. Yep, that makes sense. These are all good. If we want to find the first word in the top concordance line, which was reminded, it occurs 3,129 times. So we want to take that value and put it in a, in a new column on the right-hand side of our concordance lines, right? Concordance lines are keyword and context displays. So there's another term for it. We have a pre, the pre-context, the actual match or node that you search for with a regex, probably a regular expression. And then you have some post-context. And then I want to add a new column where I have the frequency of these words. So this is where a left join would be useful. I want all the rows in my concordance display. Let's actually do this so we can look at it left and right. Let's click like this. Um, so I want all the rows here in my concordance display. And I want to make a new column where I go have it go into this right hand column, the right hand data frame on the right hand side of my screen right now and find the frequency for each word over in the left hand uh, left hand table, left hand table uh, data frame. There it is. So I just put it in manually there, but we want it to do it for all 3.9 million you know, rows for us automatically. So that's what a left join is. So our contenders in this episode smackdown between these four contenders is Polars, which is a new, a newish, new data frame and data analysis toolkit uh, that is written in Rust, the Rust programming language, which is super fast. And it has a Python API that I'll use. It has data frames for the new era. And Polars is a new, is an open source library for data manipulation known for being one of the fastest data processing solutions on a single machine. Awesome. So they have a join method on their data frame that allows you to, to do left joins right here with this how argument. And you can specify what columns you want there with the left on, right on. So we're gonna use Polars and that join method specifically. Another contender in this SmackDown is Pandas. And Pandas has a merge method on their data frames. Um, well actually, it's on the, the package, but yeah, you can do the same thing. You can do a how, um, you use a how argument and say left join, and you have a left on, right on to name the columns, the column in the left hand table or data frame that holds the, the value you want to match with the column on the right hand data frame. Good. And then one of the OGs, at least for me, an OG is uh, Tidyverse, specifically the dplyr package. I learned, I started learning dplyr uh, back in 2014. I did a workshop with Hadley Wickham uh, at a use our conference at UCLA that year. And it's awesome. I, I use dplyr and tidyverse a lot and I feel very comfortable in it. They have a left join uh, function as well there. And then data.table is also an R package that has um, the ability to do left joins and many other things as well. And they say it is fast, programming speed, fast speed, memory efficient, written, I think it's written in C under the hood, whereas uh, dplyr is written in C++ under the hood. So yeah, empirically, I wanna know what's gonna happen when I do a big join between, for example, let's go back here, I have 3.9 million rows in this concordance display. Excel can't display all of them, all of them at once but there are 3.9 in this CSV file that came into Excel here. And then in my frequency list, I have, I think it's like almost 300,000 rows, about 242,000 rows of frequencies 
a lot of half axes down there at the bottom, just words that I currently want. But so yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's take a look at our code. And let's look at uh, Python first. So we're gonna do 100 trials. We're gonna do 100 merges and see how long it takes each of those. And we'll look at a display here in a minute. So here's pandas. And here we have the dot merge um, function in pandas. I'm gonna merge my concordance line is the left hand data frame. My frequency is the right hand data frame. So I want all rows of the concordance display. I just wanna grab frequencies from that frequency uh, right hand data frame. Good, I'm gonna time that particular operation right there between lines 18 and 20. Then I'll write it out to the hard drive uh, on a CSV file, in a CSV file so I can look at it later, look at all four together. And then here's polars. It's nearly the same idea, but in this case, the join is actually a method on one of the data frames. So I have a concordance data frame and I have a frequency data frame in polars. I'm gonna call the join method on the concordance data frame and do the same thing. I'm just gonna do a left join there <clears throat> on line 29. And I'm also going to time those that operation. Good. Though that's uh, polars and pandas. Obviously, polars is a shout out to pandas, meaning they they use they're using the name polars as in polar bear, as a nod to pandas and, and panda bears. Let's jump over to R. And in R, I have um, I'm using both data dot table as well as tidyverse which loads in dplyr, which is the actual package that does the left join. They each have their own file reading uh, functions, so I use those there. I'm gonna do 100 iterations as well. <clears throat> Here's the uh, tidyverse or dplyr one. There's a left join right there. Joining those two together and joining by those column names. Gonna time that, write it out to the hard drive, that same CSV file. And here's data.table, same idea. In this case, um, I believe it's updating the memory uh, location, it's, it's um, modifying in place rather than making a copy, whereas the other three are making copies, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, so there we have it. I'm writing out to the hard drive there. So let's just take a look right away at the results, and here they are. So the left hand side, the left hand plot there is data.table. The middle one, the second from left, is pandas. The third is polars and the far right is tidyverse. So the main takeaway, so the, not the main, but the first takeaway is that tidyverse is taking a lot longer on average and it has a big variability of how long it takes. At the very top of this, we're looking at over four seconds to do that join. Uh, at the bottom, we're below a half a second. There's a lot of variability in how long it takes. It took those 100 iterations to, uh, to join, to do the join. So we're just gonna actually zoom in down there on the other three. Let's go like this, hit that. Let's zoom in just down a second or, or slower or, or quicker that is down here. So what do we see? Well, we see that the third from left column, second from right, right here is polars and it is quicker. It is quicker to do this join than pandas, which is the second from left right next to it. Yeah, polars is quicker than pandas. That much is clear. And then data.table down here is actually between those two. It's quicker than pandas, but not as quick as polars. Data.table in R, it has C under the hood. I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned, but polars actually has Rust under the hood. Polars is written in Rust, has a Python API. So as a, let's, you know, as a good quantitativist, let's do a little ANOVA on that, on those four uh, groups there. What do we see? We see that pandas and data frame are not significantly different if we were to use the 0.05 p-value as the alpha level. And so we cannot reject the null hypothesis here that there is not, um, that there, the difference between pandas and data frame is not due to chance. Let's go back there. So pandas and data frames, the data, uh, excuse me, data table, that is, data table is there on the left and pandas on the right. So, okay, it's close. People, some people would call this a marginally significant p-value, 0.07. Um, is sometimes called a marginally significant p-value. The difference between polars and data.table also is at 0.07, so we cannot reject the null hypothesis that the, the difference is, is due to chance. Again, let's look at that. So polars here, the third from left, and data table, the first, the leftmost one there. That's what this column back, this row right there says. 
But all the other comparisons are significantly different from each other, including polars and pandas. Just to bring that up, the that row right there, the fourth row on this um, ANOVA output, that p-value in the far right shows that, yeah, we can reject the null hypothesis that there, um, the difference is not due to chance here. There is some difference, meaning polars is quicker than pandas. And that's what we see visually right there. So let's jump back to our question, our research question, and answer it in our discussion section of this video, all right? When performing a left join, which is faster, polars, pandas, tidyverse, or data.table? Polars won this smackdown, this, this competition. Yeah, Polars is quicker. It's written in Rust. You can call it from Rust, but they have a Python API. And that's what I did. And it is quicker. Um, that said, just to point out, I'll jump back over here. The difference, you know, um, if you are just going to do this once, like if you're just going to run this script once, it's probably not a big deal to wait up to four, even four seconds. You know, the longest, the longest um, run of Tidyverse if you're only doing it once, right? Four seconds versus whatever that was, 10 milliseconds. That's a big difference, but in practical terms, if you're just gonna run it once, it doesn't really matter. You know, you could just let it run for four seconds, you'll be fine. But it comes into, it becomes an issue if you have to do this a lot. If you're doing this thousands of times, then that adds up very quickly. So yeah, there you have it. Um, polars is quicker than pandas and um, not significantly quicker than data.table in this run, but marginally, some people call it marginally significantly quicker, uh, but Polars was the quickest in this, this uh, benchmark here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget <clears throat> to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, see you next time.